Are you a designer? Maybe in fashion? Or do you design jewelry for a living? Perhaps you design footwear? An interior designer? Or maybe you are an artist. In whichever field you may be in, AI will not take your job. Instead, you can use AI to co-pilot your designs and creativity. Let's find out how. What is creativity? It all begins with an idea. Then your brain connects with all that you have experienced, seen, and heard throughout your life and creates something unique, which is your design and your creativity. Everything we see, nature or man-made, or hear or experience can be converted into a mathematical equation. There is a mathematical formula for everything in nature, like pigeons flying after a child rushes towards them, to something man-made, like simple to complex structures like buildings. Everything can be defined by math, and in this video, I will teach you how to use maths to get your creativity flowing and create unique designs. The problem is that the current AI-generative art tools, say Midjourney, are trained to understand humanized language text prompts. So if you were to insert ones and zeros or a math formula, for example, zn plus one equals zn raised to two plus c, Midjourney would not know what to do with it and generate anything random. The formula I mentioned is for the Mandelbrot set art. Instead of the formula, we use the word Mandelbrot set art in the prompt, which Midjourney will understand. Sounds simple. But it's not as easy as it sounds, because there are thousands of mathematical formulations, each serving a different purpose. This video is meant for everyone, including the management of large corporations, their employees, individual artists, freelancers, or anyone interested in AI. I will focus on five industries and show you how and which math formulation works best in each of them with the prompt and the prompt formula. Since the prompt math derivative is vast, I would handpick the best ones suited to the industry and design. I will explain the math in an easy-to-understand language so you will know how to use math to co-pilot your creativity workflow. You can learn the prompt formula and mix and match anything you want with any math formulation, and these math art styles can be researched via Google Search, ChatGPT, or Bard. So let's start with fashion. First, let's see the formula, and based on this formula, I will generate prompts and designs. For this entire video, I am using Midjourney. Still, in the conclusion, I will give better alternatives and in which area or design type they excel in. I will then explain whatever main math art style I use and a little explanation for the math subart style. The formula I used here is a photo of a male or female wearing. You can input the color schemes here along with the fashion style and the dress type. You can now include the math main and subart styles and even define the color scheme of the math art style and design you want, ending with design fashion. I would be using version 5.2, and for fashion, always stylize 1000 and a tall aspect ratio. Not too tall, though. You can even go with 3 is to 4 or a ratio of 4 is to 6, depending on your workflow. If you find Midjourney going all over the place, try reducing the style value to 250 or just shift to version 5.1 with a style value of 750 up to 1000. Please note down the formula, as it's the base I will use to formulate my fashion prompts. The purpose of this is to get conceptual fashion ideas that you can see and then implement them in whatever software you or your company use, which could be CAD, CLO, Tuka 3D, Marvelous Designer, C Design Fashion, and Browseware, to name a few. The prompt for the image you see on the left is a photo of a female wearing a yellow and green formal maxi dress with a red colored Fibonacci Art Flowers Design Fashion. The Fibonacci sequence is used to create patterns and shapes. It is a series of numbers where each number is the sum of the two previous numbers. 
The sequence starts with 0 and 1, and then continues with 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, and so on. This sequence is in many natural patterns, such as the arrangement of leaves on a stem, the spiral of a seashell, and the petals of a flower. Fibonacci flowers is a subset math formulation of the main Fibonacci sequence. So here I used the sequence in words that Midjourney understands, and it gave me a natural floral pattern with the color combination I defined. Let me show you the next image and prompt. The prompt goes as, a photo of a female, wearing blue and peach color, high-low dress, with a L-system fractals, seashell spirals, design fashion. Now, I have used a completely different math formulation called L-system fractals. A fractal is something that is intricate and self-replicating using math formulas. An L-system fractal is a subset that is based on rewriting rules. It starts with a string, which is rewritten according to a set of rules. The rules specify how each symbol in the string can be replaced by a new string of symbols. This rewriting process is repeated over and over. And each time the process is repeated, the string gets longer and more complex. The final string is the L-system fractal. This is used to get repeated patterns in plant-like forms, coral, seashells, spirals, and abstract geometry. Hence I used seashells spirals in the prompt, which gave the design of the model's dress. A photo of a female wearing coral pink, dark red, bodycon dress, with an abstract fractal, with sky blue, chaotic patterns, design fashion. Here I have used two subsets of the fractal formula, one of which is an abstract fractal. Abstract fractals are fractals that are not based on any natural object or landscape. It's mainly used for patterns in fashion. You can use geometric, inorganic, or chaotic patterns, for example. Chaotic patterns and even be defined further as clouds, smoke, or fire. The image Midjourney generated does represent an abstract fractal with a chaotic pattern. A photo of a female, wearing peachy yellow, with a tiered dress, blue fractal flames, design fashion. Here I have just used a subset called fractal flames. This is different from the previous abstract fractal, chaotic patterns. Both come under the abstract fractals category, but you usually use the word fractal flames to resemble an abstract flames design or a cosmic phenomenon that is used in art. The flames here, however, won't be prominent flames but abstract blends because of the word fractal, which I have already explained earlier. Moving on to some male fashion designs. The first prompt is a photo of a male, wearing blazer, with a natural tessellations, jade green, brown reptile scales, design fashion. Here I have used a subset that falls under tessellation art, which is also called tessellation tiling. In simple terms, it creates repetitive patterns of shapes that fit together seamlessly without gaps or overlaps. There are a lot of subsets here, one of which is natural tessellation. These are used to mimic patterns found in nature, such as honeycombs, plant growths like vines, or the one that I have used in the prompt, reptile scales. You can see from the image on the left the AI has done a beautiful job here, mixing the jade green with the brown colors. It's all about using the right math art style in the prompt in a specific way. The second prompt is, a photo of a male, wearing a statement jacket, with a fractal spiral, design fashion. Fractal spirals are a subset of fractal art. They are patterns that exhibit spiral-like qualities. If you notice, I did not use any specific coloring in the prompt this time and wanted to see what the AI would come up with. Sometimes when you get a creative block, you can do this. A photo of a male, wearing a red-white, smart casual dress, with black hyperbolic fractal, design fashion. Hyperbolic fractals, as the name suggests, are a subset belonging to fractals. They are geometric fractal patterns that twist, curve, and bend in a way that is visually captivating. Here I have been extremely specific in the prompt and defined not only the clothing colors and also the coloring of the math subset. Even with a high stylish value, the prompt is accurate. This is because of the prompt formulation. Stick to the formula given earlier and play around with it. 
The formula will change as we move to different industries using different styles of designs. The last fashion prompt, a photo of a male, wearing light blue cold tone, stylish coat, worn over a warm color tone suit, with a Fibonacci tiling pattern, design fashion, bezier curves. This prompt is a bit more complicated than the previous ones because I have mixed two math art styles. The Fibonacci tiling pattern is a math subset of the Fibonacci art style. This results in tiling patterns based on Fibonacci numbers. These patterns are visually interesting and are supposed to be harmonious. Here I have also used Bezier curves. They are a subset that belongs to geometric abstraction math art styles. Geometric abstraction is characterized by using geometric shapes, lines, and forms that are structured and visually harmonious. Bezier curves, named after Pierre Bezier, who developed them in the 1960s, is a type of parametric curve that is used in computer graphics to create smooth and organic shapes. A parametric curve is a mathematical representation of a curve where the coordinates of points on the curve are defined by one or more parameters. Hence Bezier curves have two subsets, namely, quadratic and cubic. I will explain them as and if used in the prompts. The formula for designing jewelry is quite simple. It goes as a product showcase. Here in the prompt, you then define the jewelry type, the polish, the material, and the gender if it's for male or female. You put the math art style in the end, followed by the word design. For these designs, I kept the aspect ratio as 1 is to 1 which is the default in mid-journey, so you don't have to write it in the prompt. Getting some designs in the exact shape and style I wanted was difficult in mid-journey version 5.2. I had no issues with Blue Willow here. The regenerations were relatively less. However, I am showcasing everything generated in mid-journey to be consistent, and where version 5.2 did not work, I just reverted to version 5.1 with the default style value of 750. Please note down this formula, as these would be the base I would use for all the jewelry designs showcased in the video. The prompt of the image on the left goes as, a product photo showcase, of a rose gold necklace, with pearls, Italian, with a natural fractal, inspired seashells, art design. Please note in fashion, I used natural tessellation art which is different from natural fractals art. Natural fractals are a subset of fractals art. A natural fractal inspired art is basically a fractal inspired by natural forms like ferns, clouds, or the one in which I have used seashells. The pendant on the left is based on Italian jewelry, known for its intricate and delicate designs. They are pretty unique from Indian, American, or British designs. If you look at the waves-like design between the leaves, it is in fact, replicating fractals of seashells. This is something very similar to what you see in the Sydney Opera House. However, a Fibonacci golden ratio inspired by seashells, clouds, and waves was used to design the curves on the top of the Opera House. A product photo showcase, of a light gold polished, pair of earrings, American, with an abstract fractals, organic leaves pattern, design. I have used abstract fractals in one of the fashion designs, but here I am using an organic pattern subset which is basically flowers, trees, and leaves. Mind you, these are still abstract, and the organic form, whatever you choose, is not supposed to be dominant in the design but is actually supposed to blend in, as you can see on the earring design. A product photo showcase, of a gold polished engagement ring, for bride, with a round cut solitaire, Indian, with a natural tessellation, honeycombs, tiling design. This prompt is a bit complex. I have used natural tessellation before in the male fashion design. However, I used reptile scales there, and here I have used honeycombs. I have also used the word tiling at the end to define that this is a tessellation art, also known as tessellation tiling, with a subset of natural tessellations defined by another subset of honeycombs. When using math in the prompt, you can be very specific or generalized. Here I had to be specific because the subject is a ring. 
If you cannot recognize the honeycomb pattern, it is because it's a ring, and the pattern gets cut due to the width of the ring. If the pattern were wider, the honeycomb would be very obvious. A product photo showcase, of a silver platinum polish, cuff bracelet, for female, British, with an algorithmic art, abstract Voronoi patterns. Here I have used Midjourney version 5.1 with a style value of 750. I am considering algorithmic art as a main math set instead of a subset here because it belongs to various math arts, like tessellation, fractals, L-system fractals, geometric abstractions, and so on. Voronoi patterns is a subset here, which creates irregular patterns based on proximity to certain points. You can use it in organic or abstract designs. The art or design you create using Voronoi patterns is aesthetically pleasing, visually appealing, and intricate. For the shoe formula prompt, it's best to keep it short and straightforward. You start directly with the math formulation and define the style, color, and any design or art you want. Then you go on to use the word inspired, followed by the shoe type, style, and color. Finally, end it with the word design. Again the S value is set to 1000, and I am using Midjourney version 5.2. Write down this simple formula, as all the shoe designs will be based on this. I am using a very simple prompt here. Chaotic patterns, clouds, blue and orange, inspired, sneakers design. The chaotic patterns are a subset of abstract fractals, which are a subset of the math fractals art style. I have explained all three math styles and subsets previously. I did not go into too much detail here. I just wanted to see what the AI comes up with. Tessellation art, semi-regular tessellations, inspired, high heels, black and red design. Tessellation art is the main math art style, I have already explained that. Semi-regular tessellations are different and are a subset. They are a combination of other regular polygons. You can be more specific here and define the regular polygons, but I have just generalized it to randomize a combination. Hence, the semi-regular tessellations. Examples of some regular polygons you could use here are equilateral triangle, square, pentagon, hexagon, heptagon, or septagon, octagon, nonagon, and decagon. L-system fractal, 3D algae, and coral patterns, inspired, running shoes in pink, cyan, yellow design. I have already explained L-system fractals. Algae and coral patterns are a subset. However, I added 3D to the prompt to give that embossing effect. As the name suggests, these patterns are natural arrangements, especially in aquatic environments. These patterns show how living organisms can create complex and visually appealing structures through biological growth processes. The beauty of using these patterns in the prompt is that you will get a random result every time. Menger Sponge, Umber Color, Inspired, High Flat Heels Wedges, Shoe Design Menger Sponge is a subset of the math style fractal art. It's a three-dimensional fractal created by repeatedly removing the interiors of cubes. It is named after Carl Menger, who first described it in 1926. The color umber represents rich, warm, and earthy tones in shades of brown pigments. Fibonacci Abstractions, Black and Blue Colored, Inspired, Loafers for Men, Design The prompt is not entirely accurate in the coloring, and I took it because it looks good. However, it is exact in the math. Fibonacci Abstractions are a subset of the Fibonacci art style. Artists usually draw inspiration from the Fibonacci sequence to create abstract compositions. Fibonacci-inspired abstractions can be found in various styles, from traditional to contemporary. They can be found in museums and galleries worldwide and continue to inspire artists and designers today. Fibonacci Golden Ratio, Spirals Composition, Black Leather, Inspired, Oxford's Shoe, For Men, Formal Wear Design. 
The golden ratio is approximately 1.618 and is visually harmonious. Elements like rectangles, spirals, and grids can be based on the golden ratio. Artists and architects have used Fibonacci golden ratio for a very long time. The Mona Lisa, for example, is based on the golden ratio. Let's move on to interior designing. The formula starts with award winning, after which you enter the room type, style, and details. Then you enter a math art style for the upholstery and a math pattern or design for the wall. You can end the prompt by putting in colors. For all the interior design prompts, I would be using the wide aspect ratio, mostly 6 is to 4. I want to say that the interior design math prompts can be very complicated as you can define math styles in different areas of the room. For example, you can have the upholstery in one math style, the flooring in a completely different math style, and the walls in a distinct subset or main style. Then you can define textures, the material of the furniture, and so on, and complicate the prompts. Here is one place where you will get the same styles over and over, and sometimes in version 5.2, even with a low style value can be overdramatic. For example, don't waste time playing around with the style value if your kitchen does not look like a kitchen. Just switch to version 5.1 in mid-journey. So please write down this formula as a baseline for the prompts. The prompt for this image is, award-winning, teenager's bedroom, fractal upholstery, and wall design, pink and yellow retro colors. So here, I have just used the fractal math style for everything and have not defined the flooring at all. I left flooring out of the base formula, but you can insert it with a math style anywhere between upholstery and wall design, and it should work. Also, I have used a negative command, no stairs. Feel free to do that every now and then whenever mid-journey starts putting stairs leading to nowhere. Award-winning, master bedroom, Fibonacci upholstery, and kinetic wall design, teak wood, light French polish, algorithmic-inspired tile flooring, soft colorful lighting. Mid-journey has wholly ignored the lighting here and does that in most of the prompts. Dim or bright lighting works. However, the objective here is to get conceptual design ideas and use them in whatever interior designing software you use personally or in your company. The bedroom's wood structure is very accurate regarding the Fibonacci sequence. The prompt also weighs in teak wood and light French polish. It also accurately did the algorithmic flooring. You can define the math style with subsets, but I have generalized it for this prompt. Now what is kinetic wall design? The design behind the bed is inspired by a kinetic design. It's not a math style. However, that keyword can represent a sense of motion, like movement and dynamism. This can help make a space feel more exciting and engaging. Award-winning, kitchen, with Julia design, Italian white marble flooring, abstract fractal, organic wall patterns, pastel color scheme. This is where I switched to version 5.1 after wasting hours with version 5.2 in mid-journey. Everything is self-explanatory or explained earlier except the Julia design. To understand that, you first need to understand what is a Mandelbrot set art. Both Julia set and a Mandelbrot set are fractals. The Mandelbrot set is self-similar at different scales. This means the Mandelbrot set looks the same when magnified or shrunk. The Mandelbrot set is also infinite, meaning it has no boundaries. Julia set art has some key differences here. While a single equation defines the Mandelbrot set, the Julia set is defined by a family of equations. This means that there are infinite Julia sets, each with its unique appearance. Another key difference is that the Mandelbrot set is always symmetric, while the Julia set is not always symmetric. This is because a quadratic equation defines the Mandelbrot set, while a cubic equation defines the Julia set. Award-winning bathroom, bathtub, shower inspired by Fibonacci architecture, regular tessellation squares wall pattern, periwinkle color scheme. Before we talk about the design, the math, or anything else, let me tell you the saga of mid-journey in bathroom interior design prompting. 
For some apparent reason, this prompt was flagged and deleted from Discord. Later on, I think, the moderators must have found nothing wrong with it, and it showed up in my gallery on the website. However, all the other bathroom designs I made are not there. I only wanted to use this one as it was the only one with the periwinkle color scheme. Now what is periwinkle? Well, it's a pale tint of blue or lavender. It's a blend of blue and violet hues and has shades of both blue and purple. Also, there is no shower. It never comes in mid-journey with a bathtub. I did not try that much. I gave up after 5 tries at this point. Let's get back to the math design. The Fibonacci architecture inspires the whole bathroom. Many architects and designers use the Fibonacci sequence for the proportions of the spaces in interior design creating structures with pleasing proportions. The wall design behind the tub is a regular tessellation squares pattern. They are regular polygons. So you can be more specific and define any regular polygon as a subset to get more control over the conceptual design. I did mention 8 types of regular polygons earlier in the video. Award-winning, hotel spa, L-system fractals, plant-like forms, wooden design, Fibonacci flowers upholstery, teak wood, light French polish, dim lighting. Here what you see and what is given in the prompt can be a bit confusing, but let me explain. The plant-like forms, which is a subset, is showcased with huge lotus-like flowers with lighting suitable for a spa reception. Designers use the Fibonacci flowers subset to determine the number of petals in a flower using the Fibonacci sequence. So you can see the plant-like forms, which look like lotus, have this math. However, the prompt took flowers upholstery and placed plants around the seating area, which was not my intent. Everything else seems accurate. Ultimately, the conceptual design, especially the lotus with the lighting in the center, works and can be used in the interior design of a spa. This is the last interior design prompt. Award-winning, Chinese restaurant, dining area, dragon curve fractal upholstery and wall design, dim romantic lighting. The dragon's curve is a subset of fractal art and is very unique. It is a specific fractal pattern that can be generated through a sequence of steps based on the initial curve and a set of rules. It is self-replicating and creates intricate shapes which are visually captivating patterns. The prompt is very accurate to the image here, and you can see the wooden seat with the pattern-like design and the fractal dragon curve design on the main wall. Let's start with art design. If you are an individual or starting up in art, you can use Midjourney to make some art and sell it on Etsy or similar platforms to get started with some passive income. If you are a professional artist, I suggest using Midjourney as an inspiration, even for digital work. As an artist, sometimes it helps to get a visual interpretation of your idea. You can use Midjourney for that and continue doing whatever you are doing. It also helps with the creative block. For example, say you are a graphic designer or artist working in a film industry. They require concepts. Midjourney will help accelerate your workflow. Your design is your creativity, and it's unique. AI can never replace that. Moving along, the formula for an art design is very simple. You input a subject, color scheme, or any details first and the math art style last. I have gone for a wide aspect ratio, but for the art, you can use any ratio depending on your workflow. For the first prompt, I kept it very simple. Microscopic quantum particles, Mandelbrot set art. I have already explained what a Mandelbrot set art is. Please refer to the kitchen video on interior design for an explanation. Fire and ice, abstract fractal flames, molten lava. The words fire and ice are used to get a blend of blue and red hues. The math here is abstract fractal flames. Molten lava was used to make the red color more prominent. Top-down view, fractal landscapes, coastline fractals, turquoise waters, and white sand. With just a small prompt, you can get beautiful designs like this one. 
The first essential part of the prompt is top-down view. You can also use the aerial view, but the angle won't be defined. A top-down view does exactly what it says. I have used two subset math art styles here. Fractal landscapes are a type of fractal art inspired by natural landscapes. They often create realistic and atmospheric images of mountains, forests, and other natural features. Fractal landscapes can have many subsets, like forests, mountain ranges, or the one which I have used coastline fractals. There is no sand or a beach. The entire phrase, turquoise waters and white sand, was used for the colors. Since the word fractal was used multiple times, you won't get a realistic white sand beach. You can see the layers and intricate details the AI generated using fractals. Leaf, mosaic tessellation art, fern green. Simple and effective. Leaf is the subject here. Mosaic tessellation art is a math subset. It is used to create small tiles or pieces that come together to form a larger image or pattern. Fern green is the color. Circular convergence, retro colors, harmonious Fibonacci tiling. Short prompts using a math art style really works. Fibonacci tiling was already explained in fashion before. They are usually harmonious, but I wanted to emphasize the harmony. Hence, I used the word harmonious before the math art style in the prompt. Hues of refraction, prism art, algorithmic Sierpinski triangle art style, pastel colors. A Sierpinski triangle is a subset of the fractal math style. It's named after the Polish mathematician Wacław Sierpinski, who introduced the concept in 1915. If you want to use fractals, the best example would be the Sierpinski triangle. It has its own aesthetic appeal. Reef Reverie, Coral Red, Orange, Oceanic Green, Purple, Yellow Colors, L-System Fractals Coral Art Design. Reef Reverie gives the artwork and design a dreamlike contemplation or reflection associated with a coral reef ecosystem. L-System Fractals are already explained earlier with the shoe design. Previously I used algae and coral patterns. However, I am using coral art here instead, which is different. You can play around with the math art style wordings to get a different design. The last prompt for the video. Cosmic Fusion, Explosion, Fractal Galaxy Art, Cyberpunk Neon Colors. Fractal Galaxy Art, as the name suggests, is a unique subset of fractal art. This math style involves creating artwork that resembles galaxies, star systems, and cosmic structures. You can complicate the prompt by specifying the exact galaxy names and even change the perspective from a planet view to a view from space. First, let me clear the air and say I am not a math teacher. We are a team of two people who create videos every week regarding AI. This video, for example, has taken over two weeks of just plain research. This is not counting the prompting or experimenting on which math styles to use where. To conclude, math is a powerful tool that can be implemented for conceptual designs and artworks in generative AI art. These concepts can then be used in our workflow, regardless of industry or profession. People do say mid-journey is the best, and yes, it is, but not for all designs. For jewelry concepts, I prefer Blue Willow over Mid-Journey as it's more accurate to the prompt. I have tried these prompts and math art styles in various AI generative art tools, including Stable Diffusion, and it works. Stable Diffusion with ControlNet is far superior to Mid-Journey or anything else currently available. However, it depends on your work and what you are designing. For fashion, Mid-Journey is way way better. However, to control the clothing and pose of the fashion model, a combination of Mid-Journey and Stable Diffusion both works best, in my opinion. In Mid-Journey, say for interior designing, I had to switch between versions to get my accuracy. Now, I would not call this a problem because every generative AI art tool has its quirks. Go with whatever you are comfortable with. What I have shown you in the video is just a tiny fraction of the math art styles, and its potential. 
You really have to go deep into it, and honestly, it's not viable to explore every aspect of it. My suggestion would be for you to use Google Search, Bard, or even a basic version of ChatGPT to get information about the math art styles that are relevant to your interest, or the industry that you work in. I have only showcased five industries, but the potential for this application in prompt engineering is vast. Think of it this way, in any industry or profession, wherever design or art is required, conceptual or factual, math can be used to visualize the art beforehand. It can take your prompt engineering skills to the next level. All it takes is using the correct math formulation based on your design or art. I hope you found this video useful. Until next time. If you have watched till here, thanks. Please, like and subscribe, and hit the bell notification to receive a notification as soon as we upload a new video.